Okay, I don't remember if I've ever made a video of this, but whether it's the silicone grease, spark plug blue grease, or something like nylog red, nylog blue, this little area right here, now watch this. This little area right there, that is the area where your O-ring inside your R134 fitting seals, only right there. So all this lubricant I have, that is enough to do this entire circumference. You don't need a big gob of it. So I'm just spreading it around there and holding it. I'm not, because I'm up here on a ladder. This is such a tall truck. Okay, that is more than what's needed. And that little mating surface right there, you see that? That little surface is where you need a little lubricant. Right around there. And you don't have to do it on every vehicle, but say every five or six vehicles you do, you wanna make sure that O-ring gets lubricated inside your, your adapter fittings. And those surfaces are clean and have no debris on them and they're not roughed and everything like that from corrosion. Like if you're in a salt water place or salted roads and those surfaces are really rough, they're gonna wreak havoc and tear the hell out of your O-rings for sealing. So if you always have really pitted ones because you're in a salt water location, every time you take them off, they're all rusted and corroded, clean them off and then you would use something like this every time because you just tear the hell out of your o-rings and you'll lose vacuum and you'll lose pressure and if you're trying to diagnose doing a pressure test or a vacuum test you will literally lose and by damaging your o-rings so by applying a little spark plug glue grease which is a dielectric grease or something like this nylog um, you take care of you have good sealing you have good sealing under vacuum and good sealing under pressure and uh, your o-rings will last good in your fittings so that's it nylog or uh, spark plug grease